today. That's a good first fish. Yeah. 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 Not a bad one. I'll take that for a first fish. It's a dirty dirt. All right. So first fish for me today. Not even finished setting everything up yet. I only have three tip-ups. But uh, let's get this fish back, it's kind of cold out. Sweet. You see it, Maddox? In the right bottom right corner. Yeah, bottom right corner. Oh, 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 oh. Give me, give me. He's hesitant because the camera's right there. Nope, he's not. Nope, there he is, there he is, there he is. That's a different pike. Smaller there pike. Is. Way smaller. The pike are moving in, that's the second pike. Let's go, dude. Let's go. I don't know, this is that pike's been seen. So the clips you just watched were from yesterday when I went ice fishing for some pike with two of my buddies and I only ended up catching that one small bass about 15 minutes into the day and we were there for 10 hours. We got there at 6 o'clock in the morning and didn't leave until after 4 o'clock so it was a little over 10 hours that we were there and that was the only bite. So as usual, if I don't do that well ice fishing, I'll come back to my apartment and I'll do an unbagging. Now yesterday is when I went ice fishing. I got home, I took care of my dog, ate some dinner and went to bed. Then I woke up in the morning and I ended up going to Dick's Sporting Goods just to see if I could pick up a few things, see if they had any things I wanted. And uh, hey, definitely had some things I wanted. I ended up spending over $100 I ended up spending over a hundred dollars on basically all Kitek swim baits with a couple rare chatter baits thrown in there. Now, other than going online, Dick Sporting Goods is the only store in my area that sells Kitek or Kitek if you're from Japan. I know in the US we pronounce it Kitek, but I guess technically it's Kitek. And my Kitek swim bait game is getting pretty low, so I really needed to restock. Fortunately, the dicks where I live, they don't have much of a selection, but I mean, beggars can be choosers. It's just the only store that actually sells these Kitek swim baits in my area. But not only am I gonna show you guys literally everything that's in this bag, I'm also gonna show you guys how I rig them up, why I rig them up, where I would use them. But uh, enough talking, let's just get into it. I know you guys probably clicked on this video to watch the unbagging, not me, not catch any pike. Now, as I said earlier, I spent over $100 on just Kitek swim baits, and I did buy a few chatter baits in a rare color. I say rare, but my Dick Sporting Goods had like 30 of these chatter baits. So whenever I hear people say they're out of stock in their area, I don't know what they're talking about because my Dix has like 40 of them. But let's get right into it and let's start with the color that I'm most excited to use this spring. Now, I was watching a video from Tactical Bassin and he caught a big smallmouth and it wasn't this exact swim bait, but it was this exact color. This color is electric blue chartreuse which means it's just blue on top, chartreuse on the bottom. I got actually two packages of these. And I'm not the biggest fan of this color, honestly, but when I see other people catch fish, um, 
I learn from what they do and uh, I picked up these colors because I might not like them but uh, that doesn't mean the bass doesn't like them. Let's take one out of the package real quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This Kytec specifically is in the 3.8 inch. And like all Kytec swim baits, they all come with that really strong squid scent. Which in my opinion isn't that big of a deal, but I'm going to be using these on the river in super early spring. Basically when there's still a little bit of ice on the shoreline and whatnot. So when the water does get super cold and I'm just fishing super slow on the bottom, I do think the scent helps a little bit. It's also heavily salted as well. But, ooh, ooh, that smells like a fish. Now that was the Kytec Swing Impact Fats. Which basically, the fat just means the body portion right here is just fatter than the regular Kytec Swing Impacts. Since it has a little fatter body, it's not only going to have a slow kick to the tail, the body is also going to be moving as well. And in my opinion, that slow kick is really nice on the back of a swim jig. Now, I wouldn't throw this on the back of a chatterbait, only because this boot tail isn't going to really match the head of the chatterbait. The head of the chatterbait is going to be going 100 miles an hour, and the back is just going to be kicking like this. Which kind of brings me to my next bait. Still in that chartreuse color. The color is called chartreuse shad. And this is something that I would throw on the back of a chatterbait. This is a Kytec Easy Shiner. It's in four inches. And unlike the Swing Impact Fats, the tail on this is gonna have a lot quicker of a kick. Perfect for a chatterbait, in my opinion. This bait here is definitely not gonna have that nice kind of body roll like the Swing Impact Fats will. But this is exactly what I'd put on the back of a chatterbait or a little jig head too. But this action is going to be slightly different from the Swing Impact Fats. It's definitely going to be a tighter action. Whereas the fat is going to be more of a slow boot tail action. Pick this color up specifically for early spring. Now I've heard bright colors work good in early spring. I'm not the biggest fan of chartreuse. I prefer more white or black in dirty water. Like I said, I've seen some people catch fish on chartreuse colors, and just because I don't like chartreuse doesn't mean the bass isn't gonna like chartreuse. So I picked up two of these in the four inch size. These are the other Swing Impact Fat Swim Baits I bought. I bought some in Gold Minnow. Sungill and Rainbow Shad. But, uh, these are just your normal little minnow imitation. You got the light color belly, dark color top, and the Rainbow Shad has rainbow flakes in it. It's that simple. And this is the gold flash minnow. Just had some gold and blue fleck in it. Some green fleck in there as well. But this color here, Sungill, I was actually pretty excited when I saw this. Let me take it out of the package and show you guys real quick. The other ones are just kind of an ordinary color, but this Sungill color I thought was super cool. It's kind of like that chartreuse belly and then green pumpkin top with orange flake, black flake, green flake, all sorts of different colors. I thought this color was really cool. This is what an Easy Shiner 4 inch looks like up close. As you guys can tell, it's a very narrow body here, not fat at all, no ribs on it, and this is just 
going to give the action of the tail. It's just going to be a super tight kick to the tail. Not much more action than that. But the swing impact fats, they're ribbed. So they're going to put a slightly more vibration under the water here. And the cool thing about the fat swim baits here, the swing impact fats, um, not only are you going to get that nice tail kick, but you're also going to have a little head movement too. As you're reeling it in, the tail is going to be kicking, but the head's also going to be hunting a little bit from side to side. That, to me, is one of the coolest things about Kitek. Some of the knockoff brands don't do that. It's just the slow kick of the boot tail. Kitek, on the other hand, they really kind of perfected the profile of this bait, and it also has a head wobble. So not only does it kick underneath the wa water, it also wobbles underneath the water too. Now moving on to the three and a half inch swing impact swim baits. This is in sexy shad color. It's just a light blue with some chartreuse glitter in it. Now, as you guys can tell, it does have that same ribbed body as the Kitek Swing Impact Fats. But this is just the Kitek Swing Impacts. They're not the fats, so you're not really going to have that super nice kind of body wobble. But the nice thing about this bait is it's ribbed. So it's going to put slightly more vibration off in the water and this tail is really going to kick underneath the water. Now this is kind of a cross of the Easy Shiner and the Swing Impact Fat. Super versatile bait, you can throw this on the back of a jig, chatterbait, spinnerbait, the Okashira screw head. Really anything you want to. You could just put it on a jig head if you wanted to. Little Ned Rig, that's fine as well drop shot it it'd be a really nice drop shot look how limp that tail is it's a soft plastic plastic is definitely not hard so that nice limp body is going to put some nice action underneath the water but uh like i said before sexy shad is not a color that i would normally pick up but i saw some other people catch some fish on it and like I keep saying, just because I don't like it doesn't mean the bass don't. So I ended up picking up some sexy shad colors. Actually, believe it or not, I know you might not believe this, but this is the first sexy shad color bait I have in my entire arsenal. I don't have any crankbaits, any jerkbaits, any chatterbaits in sexy shad color. This is the only sexy shad colored thing that I have. I picked up two of those. Okay, so the rest of the Kitex I bought are basically the same thing as I just showed you guys, but in different colors. So I'm just gonna quickly go over which colors I bought. One of my favorite colors of all time from Kitex is uh, Bluegill Flash. Whew. <coughs> Whew. Like I said in the beginning, just like all their swim baits, got that strong squid smell. But this is one of my favorite colors of all time from Kitek. It just has a dark gray top, kind of whitish, lighter gray on bottom, blue, black, and silver flake in it. I'm just going to be throwing this on the back of a chatterbait jig super versatile bait back to that sexy shad color but instead of it being on the swing impacts it's on the easy shiner dark blue goes down to light blue with a little bit of chartreuse flake i'm going to be trying this in early spring for smallmouth on the river another one of my favorite colors copperfield green pumpkin on top white on bottom has some pink red and black flake on it this color is also called houdini from zoom kaitek calls it copperfield zoom calls it houdini another one of my favorite colors 
And then this color, I've never seen before, never used it, but when I saw it, I thought it'd be a good clear watercolor. It's a relatively clear bait, and it has a super bright purple flake in it. If I said the name, but the name's Electric Shad. And it's just like that smoky gray on top, but it's clear on the bottom right there. Like I said, with that neon purple flash, almost like a black light purple glitter in it. I thought this would be a super cool clear water bait. Now that is all the Kitek swim baits. Now moving on to the chatter baits I bought. These chatter baits are supposedly super rare, but uh, when I went to my dicks, at least there was, like I said, like 30 or 40 of them. They were a ton of these chatter baits in fire craw color. And not only the Z-Man original Chatterbait, but also the Z-Man Chatterbait Elite and the Z-Man Chatterbait Jackhammer. So there's three different kinds of Z-Man Chatterbaits all in this fire crawl color. So I ended up picking up three of them, two in the original and then one in the Elite, just to uh, see what the difference is. Now, believe it or not, I don't use the Chatterbait that much. Last fall was um, the first time I actually used the Chatterbait, and it actually surprised me with how well it did. Um, I wasn't really expecting to catch much fish with the Chatterbait, but using it from the bank, I caught some solid three and four pounders. You guys can go back and watch the videos. I made a couple videos out of the day, but as you guys can tell, a super bright red color. And apparently this is a super rare chatterbait. The color is out of stock everywhere, except where I live, apparently. Which is all right by me, I don't, I don't mind that. And apparently there was a few bass tournaments won on this exact color, Firecraw. So once a couple tournaments are won on a bait, it just gets out of stock everywhere. It's just a super bright red color. And red is a color that supposedly works really well in the springtime. I have yet to confirm that theory. But just from everybody on the internet, they say red works super good in the spring. So that's when I'm going to be using this is in early spring. And unfortunately, where I live, there's still over a foot of ice on the ponds and lakes. So I'm not going to be open water fishing anytime soon. And I will say though, in the short time I've used Chatterbaits, Z-Man is definitely my favorite. I just like how it can easily go through weeds and uh, still keep its action. I also picked up a Booyah Melee Jig last year and I used that and that lure was awful. One, I couldn't get it to run right, and two, the second it got any sort of weeds on it, it just wouldn't work at all. At least with the Z-Man Chatterbait, if you get some weeds up in the head of this bait, it still wants to work a little bit. Now, the last thing I bought at Dick's was these Spike It markers. One in red, one in chartreuse. They're both garlic scented. And I'm not a big believer in scent, but uh, in cold water when you're fishing super slow, I do actually think scent plays a little bit of a role. Even if it just catches you one or two more bites, that's possibly one or two more bites you weren't gonna get. Especially where I live, because even the rivers where I live, the water temp is only 38 degrees, like at the most right now, so you're really gonna have to fish super slow. So uh picked up some of these. One lure I'm beginning to get a little more confidence in is this Okashira Secret Screwhead from Megabass. This is a super cool finesse bait, really good for cold water. I'll rig up one of these Kitex on this Okashira Screwhead just to show you guys. This basically right here is uh, what I'm going to be using the Okashira Screwhead for. Look how limp this bait is. That's gonna have crazy action in the cold water. Like, look at that thing bend over. It's gonna have a lot of action. 
And I really like the Yokoshira screw head just because it gives off a slightly more vibration, a slightly more of a flash than other jig heads will. The way I'll fish this too is just a slow, steady retrieve, or I'll just hop it on the bottom. All right, so something I didn't mention, but uh, bonus bag. I went to Dick's Sporting Goods probably a week ago and uh, have yet to do the unbagging or anything like that. And I decided just to throw it in this video too because it's a lot of the same stuff I just showed you. It's a lot of Kai Tech. It's a lot of chatterbaits of the fire craw color, but just slightly different sizes and slightly different colors. Now, this red Kai Tech here is called Black Cherry. I think it's gonna go perfect with the fire craw chatterbait. At my Dick Sporting Goods, this was the literal last package of this color. It's a lot of black with a little bit of red and red glitter, red flake in it as well. But I think this red bait is gonna look perfect on the back of that chatterbait. Okay, this actually looks really good. Now I know I said earlier that I wasn't gonna use the fats for the chatterbaits, but unfortunately at my Dick Sporting Goods they only had this color in the fat. But I still think it's gonna work fine on the back of the chatterbait. But I think just this just looks super cool with the red chatterbait, red trailer. Supposedly this is gonna be a perfect springtime bait. One size I kind of wish they had more of at my dicks was uh, the 2.8 inch swing impact fats. These were literally the only two packages of 2.8 inch swim baits they had in the Kitek. So obviously I had to pick them up. Both in that silver flash minnow, which just is dark gray on top, light gray on bottom, with some green and black fleck and silver flake in there as well. 2.8 inch Kitex, I'm gonna be specifically throwing on the Mega Bass screw heads. I think these are like the perfect size to throw on the back of a screw head, 2.8 inches. Also picked up some Kitex 3 16th of an ounce jig heads, just to throw some of these paddle tail swim baits on it. But uh, I'm gonna be throwing this more with like a rocky bottom if there's a lot of trees and weeds with this exposed hook, I'm not going to be throwing it. So just so just if there's like a lot of boulders, pebbles, stones, I'll be throwing this with a Kitek on it. I actually ended up spending more money on the bag that I just showed you, even though it took me like two minutes to show you guys because I bought a new interstate battery for $140. Two more Z-Man Chatterbaits in the Fire Craw color. Supposedly these are really hard to find, but like I said, there's like 30 of them at the decks where I live. So that is it for today's unbagging video. And typically I don't really do unboxing or unbagging videos. It's just typically when I don't do very good out on the ice, I'll come back home and I'll show you guys some lures that I bought. Since I don't do these types of videos very often, I'm sure I'm gonna review the footage and be like, oh man, I should have said that, or why did I say that? One more thing, if you guys have any suggestions of what lures or baits for me to use this spring, uh, leave them down below, and to be honest with you, there's a very, very good chance that I'll go to Dick's, I'll go to Bass Pro, and I'll pick it up. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it.